Hey guys, this is Devor from Tennis House. Uh, let's talk a little bit double strategy and where everybody has to be positioned at the opening, all the four players, what their jobs are and why. Let's start with the server. So ideally you want to serve, view the server right here, uh, right there where the signals boundaries are at the end, because um, in a perfect world when you serve, you basically don't have to worry about everything that's about this line because the net player, your partner, is right there, right? So if you serve from here, no matter what you serve, you the net player should have covered uh, everything that's about that line. So it doesn't make sense to send here and serve because your net player has it covered. You serve or serve and they hit it back here. You have too much ground to cover. It doesn't help you anything. So you serve from there. So what I like my friend Ryan does from Two Minute Tennis, I, I saw that and I love that because I never explain it that way. He likes to draw X here, and that's where your service partner stands, right in the middle, right? Easy to understand. So what I like to put on top of it is like draw some arrows, and that will be for the service partner direction where to move in, and all depends where the server is gonna serve to, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. So we have the, the server and the service partner covered, now the returner and the returner's partner. So the returner will be right here because as well like close to the singles boundary right there if the server doesn't have a good serve you can stand there and you feel comfortable probably hitting the ball back you know like especially beginner player recreational player they're going to be able to handle it unless they play someone with a really good serve then they want to move a little bit back and have more freedom and time to hit the ball back and shorten the backswing you're going to be amazed what two, three, four steps backwards mean on the returning side, right? If you have a second serve you expect and you want to move in, and uh, you really want to move in because most of the recreational 2 5 3 -oh players do not have a really good serve. They're just human beings, they're not robots, right? So that means they have emotions, it's tight scoring. What happens if you move in, you put pressure on the server? Most players think they have to do something really amazing, which is not true and you, two things gonna happen. You're gonna have an easier return as close as you are to the other side, right? So you don't have so much uh, to cover it, you're right there. And the next thing is you might get a double forward from the server because you're putting pressure on them. So ideally, we know now where the returner has to stand. The returner's partner right now, the serve was ha happened right now, has to stand here because he cannot or she cannot touch the first ball anyway. So the server serves, you're not allowed to touch it, right? So you can't poach already. So you have to stand here and hold ground until your returner hits the ball. Reason why you stand here is if your returner hits a good shot right here, you're good. If the returner hits, miss hits a little bit and hits right there, the net player will strike the ball right there. If you're too close in here, this whole area is open and you're in a weak spot. So you need to stand here until that ball clears this player so he can't attack you and it's right here, right? So now we start with the phenomena, which I like is what Ryan said, think about this as a magnet, right? So the server hit the serve, this ball comes back to this guy. So the magnet pulls this player forward and this player a little bit back to the middle. So the same scenario on the other side now. So what I like to call it is um, the goalie and the striker. So in this case, this guy is the striker. He tries to go and get an intercepted ball. And this guy is the goalie. In case this guy hits a weak ball in the middle, then the goalie tries to get and has more reaction time in the middle here. And this guy tries to go to that net player. So goalie and striker, or what I like, what Ryan said, the magnet, both work and um, are great great um, visuals for players to understand what's happening on the court. So the next thing, what I wanted to talk about is the server's direction of the surf. So let me just clean this quickly out here. So the server's direction determines where the server's partner will go with the shot. All right, so we have this scenario. And as I said, we draw, we drew this X here, players right here. So there's three arrows now right here. If the server, server serves out white, this guy has to go out here and contacts the ball here. So now in this scenario, your service partner will move a little bit in that direction. This guy here will move a little bit to the middle because you always have to follow, uh, you always have to follow that ball. So if the ball goes more out on this side, this guy has to cover here. 
and the server is going to decide what they're going to do if they come to the net or stay back. So now, in this scenario where the server hits to the body, the serving partner just goes a little bit forward right here, and this guy kind of stays in the middle to, to cover. And if the server serves right to the T, and this serving the serving partner goes a little bit to the T. And now this is a special scenario because right here most players are let, um, have the back end right here. <clears throat> and most of the times it is really hard for a recreational player to guide that ball back. You want to always go back to the baseline player. As we know, the net players try to target each other and the baseline players try to go and set the net players up. So a very hard shot to hit it inside out back and right here. Most players struggle with that. So where, what good things come out of that is that most of the balls travel through the middle. I believe it's around 75 or 70% 70 of the balls, what I remember, go through the middle, right? So if your, part, if your server serves to the tee and you close in at the right moment here, so it's very unlikely in a recreational level, and even on a higher level, it's a low percentage shot that you get something right there where you get past here. And you're most likely gonna get the ball right to you or they go right here. So you can forget about the doubles alleys. Too many players try to hug the doubles alley and they don't take advantage of that T-serve, for example, right? So the T-serve the, with the right-handed player, it's a great weapon because you will most likely here intercept that ball and it's on your forehand side here if you're a right-handed player right so t serve very good i would try that out um yeah i hope that helped you a little bit with the positions and the jobs that players have to do and the next one is coming soon